News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Nug is bursting with fun. With over 550 machines, we have the biggest slot floor in town. Five levels of play and new machines arriving daily. Our huge pit is open 24-7 and is the most comfortable in town. Plus, we have the finest poker room. Play bingo, browse our gift shop, or enjoy the live entertainment at the stage bar. Our cosmic bowling show is out of this world. Children can play at Kids Venture or at the arcade while you get pampered at a touch of gold beauty salon. We also have three restaurants for your dining and enjoyment. Centrally located on the corner of Highway 160 and 372. I'm Zach Fuentes with your entertainment this week. This past May, Jamaican-American singer Sean Kingston and an unknown female were involved in a jet ski accident in Miami Beach that landed him in intensive care. Since then, Kingston has been out of the public eye, but has recently revealed that he had two open heart surgeries and suffered from broken wrists, a broken jaw, and water inhalation due to the accident. He has announced that he is feeling back to his normal self and is currently working on a new album. It's only August, but the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has announced that Oprah Winfrey and James Earl Jones will be receiving honorary Oscars in the upcoming Oscar ceremony. Winfrey, who received an Academy Award nomination for her role in The Color Purple back in 1985, is being recognized for her charitable works, such as her foundation, The Angel Network, and her South African Girls School. James Earl Jones will go down in history as an iconic actor who has made over 50 films since his debut back in 1964. Some of his most famous roles were in films such as The Great White Hope, which earned him an Oscar nomination back in 1970, and as the voice for the legendary Darth Vader of the Star Wars trilogy. The 26-year-old son of the late Farrah Fawcett is in trouble once again, just a week before the one-year anniversary of his drug rehab graduation. Redmond O'Neill was arrested Tuesday morning on suspicion of felony possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana in a vehicle, and probation violation, and if that isn't enough, a red light violation. He is currently being held without bail in Santa Monica Jail. Back in 2009, O'Neill faced a possible four-year sentence in prison for possession of heroin and meth while under probation for driving under the influence. This weekend saw the release of Cowboys vs. Aliens and the Smurfs. As much as these movies are different from one another, many were unsure as to which one would get the number one box office spot. The numbers are in and the winner is Cowboys vs. Aliens, but only by a slim margin. Cowboys vs. Aliens got the top spot this weekend, taking in $36.4 million, with the Smurfs taking in $35.6 million, earning the second position. Captain America the First Avenger is at number three, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is still in the top five at number four, and Crazy Stupid Love starring Steve Carell and Ryan Gosling is at number five. I'm Zach Fuentes and that was your entertainment this week.